Good morning. Got a little, little uh, cutting to do this morning. Got to finish up all them trees there that are on the ground. Or, there's a burn band here, so all I'm going to do is cut them up and get them over to the fire. I'm not going to set them on there. I'm just going to stack everything up around it because uh, I got to hurry up and get them out of the way because we got one, two, three, four, five. We got six more coming down, and they're all going to drop this away. And then uh, after those are done, I got one, the big one here. And I don't know if you can see the big one back there. Those two are coming down. And uh, we're going to try to drop most of it on this side. We'll see. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. See all these tools here? Uh, for these saws, i got to carry all these tools. Uh, Allen wrench, a uh, Torx wrench with two different sizes. Uh, just different different tools. This is for this one, and I have to carry this with me because when I'm, you know, uh, away from here, I got to adjust the blade chain frequently. I have to carry this because uh, you have to make carburetor adjustments when you're in the field working. Not all the time, but. Uh, when you need it, you don't want to have to walk all the way back to the truck to get it. So uh, they have come up with a tool. I don't know if it's new, but I just discovered it. <laughs> and here it is. I'm going to sit down. Here's what it comes with. It comes with two sizes of these that you, this uh, unscrews. So you could put this one on. Let me, let me, uh. Let me see which size actually fits this. I haven't used it yet. Yeah, that's the right size. And then there's that. But more importantly, there's this. Uh, Allen wrench. Here's a blade cleaner. When your chain is off and you have the bar off, you can uh, clean the bar out. The bar channel, you can rake all the sawdust and everything out with that. Uh, you got your screwdriver, which uh, adjusts your uh, tension. Uh, you got a tiny screwdriver for adjusting the carburetor. You got two torques. That's everything. And uh, you can stick this in your pocket. And if you fall, I've always worried about it. if you had this in your shirt pocket or your pants pocket. Can you imagine that coming through your kidney <laughs> or lung or whatever? That would be a terrible thing. And I've always had, you know, it's not something you think about constantly, but when you stick it in your pocket, you got to remind yourself, don't fall on that pocket because that could hurt. So if you had this in your pocket, it's pretty much nothing can happen to you if you tripped and fell. So uh, I'm going to use this throughout the day and let you know what I think. And what's it called? Uh... top saw and if I like it I got this on Amazon if I like it uh, I'll leave a link in the description below see you at the end of the day all right I'm fixing to use this for the first time some more I'm looking through the viewfinder trying to trying to do this through the viewfinder is is hard all right now normally I would I think I would have this always out 
and have this tightened up so it wouldn't flop around. As a matter of fact, see if I can do that with one hand. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna tighten this up. I like it. It's uh, very convenient to have all your tools in your pocket. All right, back to work. I may try this another time or two throughout the day. All right. Yeah, I've used this all day, and uh, I absolutely am going to get rid of all my other tools and uh, just keep this with me. It's too easy. Yeah, that's called top saw. I like it. I can get rid of about 10 tools now. Oh yeah. There's one more thing. Always wear your gloves. Safety, safety, safety. Always wear your Ray-Bans. And always wear your safety chainsaw shorts and uh, loafers. Back to work. Don't offer to take your pain. They don't offer to take your punishment. Even if they nice folk, all they can say is, I wish I could do it. God took it. And he was slain. Let me close this one other thing. You are not only to receive grace, you are to give it. Now you do have to start with yourself. But we are also dispensers of grace. Just as God has to work with you, he's got to work with your neighbor. Just as he's got to work with you, he's got to work with your mate. Because if you can't give it, why should you get it? We are also dispensers of grace. And that's what the church is. It's the grace dispensary. They didn't get accepted at home. Bring them to the church house. We'll accept them. We won't accept everything they do if it's wrong, but we will value them. The church has to be the family some folk never had. Three times I have seen Beauty and the Beast. My wife took me to see it one time. I took my granddaughter to see it one time. This is ugly dude. Terrible voice, terrible personality, mean, arrogant, everything. He's a beast. He's a nothing, he's a nobody, he's, he's just a beast. But then there's beauty. And you know the story. All the beast needed was somebody to love him. And the rule was, soon as somebody loves you, you won't be a beast anymore. There are a lot of beasts here, ugly personalities, ugly attitudes. But you know what else is here? Beauty. Folks, if you're beauty, and on your way home, you run into the beast. In the words of Steve Harvey, when beauty runs into the beast, show your love. Dr. Tony Evans.